Hello, boys and girls. Chinese New Year, that's the topic. And like many families in, um, in Singapore, my wife has connections back in Malaysia. So we need to go to the family home, which is in Kuala Lumpur. And um, it's always a goddamn nightmare. <sighs> so there's uh, numerous ways to get to Kuala Lumpur. There's, we normally go by bus. But the problem with bus is that, uh, well, let's see. First Coach, for example, has this crazy banner saying that they're only releasing tickets at certain times. But you can't even check availability with First Coach without having an, having an account. Um, I don't know, my wife probably uses the same password for everything, so she doesn't tell me the accounts. I can't easily check, but to be honest, she told me and she said, it's sold out. And that same goes for the airline. But the problem is when um, everyone's leaving at the same time, since my wife has wor works regular hours, um, the, the borders get really clogged up. And lately, the border, uh, I blame the ICA in Singapore, to be honest. They're, they seem to be the slowest. Doing extra security checks, I don't know what you call it. But crossing the border can take upwards of two hours. As you can see from this thing here, it's only 350 kilometers from Singapore to Kuala, Kuala Lumpur. It should take three hours and 42 minutes, but usually it's more like six hours because of the uh, border crossing. Ah, uh, nightmare. So what other options are there? There's like, um, there's, there's renting a car. And again, um, for Chinese New Year, they have the special uh, prices, which means um, a little bit extra. And again, it's, it's um, not cheap. And what not only is it more extra is that they're also closed during the Chinese New Year, so you can only like pick up the car before Chinese New Year and drop it off after Chinese New Year. And to be honest, we were trying to go in in between Chinese New Year, just to just because it would be easier for all of us. Um, unfortunately, um, that doesn't seem to work. Flights, well, flights between Singapore and Kuala Lumpur, there's there's many of them. Um, as you can see here, there's 40 flights a day, but unfortunately, only the um, the low cost carriers are worth perhaps considering, like Air Asia, Tiger Air, uh, and Jetstar. Uh, Singapore Airlines, Silk Air, even which is some weird spin off of Singapore Airlines, if I understand correctly. Malaysia, all the traditional airlines are just crazy expensive, and Air Asia and Jetstar and Tiger Air are crazy expensive for for the peak days of traveling, like on the Friday and the Saturday. And worst of all is is that like like say you, you you know your dates as such, but but with every single one they have a slightly different f broken web form uh, for you to fill in, and it's just a it's just a, it's just a nightmare. I mean, what's so. Oh, what day am I coming back? The ninth. Another thing they, they do sometimes is like uh, they, they ch some airlines charge like an e extra fifty dollars for an infant, which we have. Some don't. But anyway, um, it, it looks like that we're having to break up the party. Like my wife and infant, who finish work on Friday, are going to travel alone, and my me and my parents who are free to travel whenever we want. We'll, we'll travel a day earlier when it's a lot cheaper. But anyway, I, I just wanted to lament that it's just, just, just crazy, isn't it? I also wanted to mention that like when you rent a car, <laughs> when you rent a car, they, they don't really mention the child seat thing, which usually takes up a, a whole person in itself. And the annoying thing here, like many other uh, rental companies, is that they might have um, they might have some offer including a big bigger vehicle like these two, but but the minute you try book, um, it's sold out. And annoyingly, like with other rental companies, um, um, they're not very like budget and uh, sixth the more and Avis. They don't. They don't tell you what the Malaysia surcharges are until you pick up the car. Anyway, it's just a nightmare traveling from one 
city in this subcontinent to another. It's just that's my that's my video. I, I I hope I hope you share my pain. I wish there was some sort of easy way that sort of summed up the car rental, the flights, the buses. Um, but since no one seems to, none of them seem to have a coherent uh, advertise API. It's really hard to cobble something together. So I hate you, travel companies, for charging people extra in this period of time and just making my life a misery.